Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a little bit of uh, something special. Hopefully that continues on into the indefinite future. Now, this is going to be the first giveaway that I'm doing for the people that have supported me directly through Patreon. If you're one of those people that never listens to the end of my videos, for the past couple of months I've had a Patreon page for you know personal backing, for personal support, for anyone who wants to support the channel, support its growth, support any equipment gains that I might have in the future, all this sort of nonsense. I've got a Patreon set up for people who wish to support me directly, that really enjoy my content and all that sort of nonsense. And I've advertised that there's been monthly giveaways that are going to be happening in conjunction with that Patreon page. Different award tiers give you different numbers of entries into a raffle style giveaway at the end of each month. Now this one, unfortunately, is super late. This one is for the February time frame of my Patreon supporting range of whoever supported me in February of the, the month of February of 2017 on Patreon. I advertised that I was going to be giving away a box of Raging Tempest. Now, this was originally intended to happen on March 15th of 2017, my birthday, and that was supposed to be the irony. The irony was supposed to be my first giveaway that I ever do on this channel was going to be on my birthday, where I'm giving a gift to somebody else and not receiving one instead. So, that little bit of irony just kind of didn't work, because trying to source a box of Raging Tempest for like less than 90 to to $100 was actually just insane, and I didn't want to do special editions because I wanted them to specifically be first ed packs, and the special editions like pool ratios are often kind of weird. So what we ended up with is we ended up with these 24 packs of judge compensation packs from a judge that I know personally that judged a YCS, and he sold me a box worth of his packs. Uh, because I found a sealed box in like a shop in a shop in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, that was like, uh, we need to charge you ninety six dollars for this box, and uh, then it's going to be another uh, couple like like twenty dollars for insured shipping, uh, so that it gets to you safely. And it's like, no, 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 you're not gonna fleece me with that nonsense. Uh, -uh. uh But literally in Atlanta, Georgia, like none of the shops anywhere around the area that I was in had boxes sealed of Raging Tempest. So, like I said, didn't want to do special editions, one, because the pull ratios are a bit weird, and they're unlimited packs, meaning the cards are essentially worth less in value. So, these are first set packs, and they're judge compensation packs, so they could either be amazing or terrible, but in my experience with judge compensation packs, they've almost always been just as good as a box, if not better. Uh, so, there definitely is that. But, so, the way that we're going to be doing this is we're going to be doing this through a randomized, a completely randomized uh, number generation alongside a randomized sort on Microsoft Excel. So let's just go over to that real quick. So the way that this is going to be done is I've got this list on Excel that I got off of Patreon. This is literally all of the people that supported me throughout the month of February. Um, and it's in, told, in total with, uh, with the number of different raffle tickets that they got. Uh, it equals 94 entries. There are obviously different numbers of people that have different numbers of tickets because of the fact that as each reward tier steps up, you get more entries, more raffle style tickets into the system. See? Now, the way that I've got it worked out to make a random sort is for those of you that don't know how uh, Excel works, you can generate a random sort by using this command equals rand in parentheses or parentheses after. Uh, but the way you do that is you do that and you just put it in any cell. As you can see, all those changed. What it does is it generates a random number anywhere between 0 and 1. So it's always going to be a decimal number, and it's going to be less than 1, but it's going to be greater than 0. Now, what you get is you get a random number, but every time this cell moves, it changes what the number inside of it is. See, even though I moved up and then moved it back to where it originally was, it's a different number than what it was originally. And as you can see, all the numbers over here are changing as well. Uh, so what that allows is that allows you to set these up and link them with the names. And what you're capable of doing is then going up here, selecting any of these, and hitting your A to Z or your Z to A sort. In this instance, I'm going to be doing A to Z. And if you do that, what it does is it puts all these numbers in order from in ascending order from 0 to 1. So it puts them in complete order as if they were in alphabetical order. But as those numbers move, once they get put in their new position, the number in the cell changes because of the randomize function. So what you're capable of doing then is clicking this sort, either Z to A or A to Z, multiple times, and it always changes the number that's associated with the name, so it consistently shifts the positioning of the names, thus giving you a randomized sort. And it doesn't matter if you do Z to A or A to Z, it's, it's going to be the same end result of you getting a randomized sort. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to click this just a couple more times at random just so I have no idea where any of these names are. All I know is that there's 94 total tickets that I have to account for. And then I'm going to go over here to Google 
and I just googled random number generator. Like this is what I've used to use like when I was looking for randomized number like generation back in the day, like in high school even. Like there's there's just you just find a random number generator online. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the minimum number that can be a result is 1. The maximum number is 94. That's going to be the ticket numbers. But I'm not just going to click this once. I'm actually going to roll a pair of dice. So, I'm going to be clicking this generate button anywhere between 1 to 12 times uh, to determine what ticket actually ends up being. We're randomizing every single thing. That's, that's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to get randomized factors. Okay, so we got 10 on this uh, on these two dice. So I'm gonna click this generate button 10 times and off the 10th result, that will be what we go with as far as tickets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10. Our result is 46. So let's go back to this Excel spreadsheet and let's look at who is 46. Number 46 is Keza Doyle, which is Keza, obviously. He's been in a few of my videos and he's in my Discord server. So I'm definitely going to reach out to you and contact you. Hopefully I do that before you see this video, but not too far before you see the video. But, so congratulations to Keza. And he's definitely one of the people that had some of the lesser numbers of uh, of the uh, of the raffle tickets that he had entered. So it's definitely not like pay to win because there are definitely people that had a lot of uh, of the tickets. Uh, but Keza only had uh, he only had five, six, four, five, six. Uh, he only had six compared to other people that you can see just have lots of numbers in them. But so Keza is the winner of this box of Raging Tempest. So congratulations to you. Now I'm going to be doing another giveaway for a couple of boxes of Duel Saga. Those will be up next week, probably next Friday, sometime around April 15th, because that is where I intend for these giveaways to take place is in like the second week of the month, like around the mid month time frame. That's where I intend for these to take place. But if you want to get in on these and you're not a member of my Patreon page, then definitely go check out the Patreon link in the description and maybe consider looking into the reward tiers and maybe figuring out where you want to be placed uh, because it gives you access into a bunch of other stuff as well, like my Discord server and all that. Like I'm literally going to go to Discord and say, hey, Keza, you got this. This is yours. And then I'm going to get some details from him on where I need to ship this because I believe that he definitely lives overseas, if I remember correctly. Um... I think he might live in New Zealand, <laughs> which means that this is going to be some shipment costs on my end, but it's whatever. I love doing this sort of stuff. I love giving back to people who help me out. I love scratching your back if you scratch mine. Uh, I love saying thanks to people that support me in whatever way they think that is a decent way to do so. But so that's going to be it for this video. Again, there's going to be another giveaway for a few boxes of Duel Saga, and those are going to be for the people who supported me throughout the March month of 2017. The Giveaway for April is probably going to be a box of Maximum Crisis, considering that I'm, it's going to be like May 10th to May 15th when that giveaway takes place, and Maximum Crisis comes out like first week of May, so it will probably be a box of Maximum Crisis. So if you're interested in getting into the raffle giveaway for that, then definitely go check out the Patreon page and look into the reward tiers and figure out what sort of raffle system you want to get in on if you are interested in getting in on the giveaways or if you want to support the channel. But other than that, that's it for this video. Again, congratulations, Keza. I will get in touch with you, hopefully before this video is live. If I haven't, then you just message me. Um, whenever you are free. But other than that, that is it, as I've already said. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, as usual. Thanks for all the support that every single one of you has given me over the years and all that sort of nonsense. I don't mean to, like, make this look like, oh, the people that support me on Patreon are the only people that matter, but those are the only people that I can afford financially to sort of give back to. But everybody that support has supported me just through subscribing and watching my videos, you all matter to me as well, and I will try to do some things in the future to give back to you guys as well. But those are definitely going to be a little bit more down the road as far as in the works of what I could actually be capable of doing. But you all matter, basically, is all I want to say. But other than that, thanks for watching. As I've already said a few times, if you want to check out that Patreon link, it is in the description. There's also a link to Facebook there. There's also a link to my sponsor, Second Chance Gaming, there. If you want to check them out as well to maybe buy or sell cards because they are a direct sponsor of me and the channel, and buying from them helps support me as well, if that's something else that you're looking to do. But other than that, again, congratulations to Keza. You will be, we will be in touch soon, and take care, guys. I will see the rest of you in the next video.